It's spring of 2023, and I recently visited the Valdez Stall and Fly-In event in Good Alaska. Good evening and welcome to the land of the midnight sun. I witnessed some of the most spectacular northern lights along the way. Check out the scenery behind me, just some of the most spectacular scenery just to the north of Anchorage. In Valdez, I was able to meet up with Melissa Burns. She's a professional aerobatics pilot and she flies her custom-built Edge 540, which is a competition aerobatics aircraft all over the world. This is some of our conversation. Melissa, you're flying in Alaska today. I'm flying in Alaska today. We are at the Valdez. It's a stall competition, but it's also an air show. Uh, they they had me bring the Edge 540 all the way up from Florida, which is a mission of its own, but I'm so stoked. The forecast is always terrible, and then we get here, and the magic of Valdez comes out, and it's absolutely beautiful. I have an, like an Earth amphitheater to perform in. I'm so stoked. I know we live up in Talkeetna, so this is a hometown show for us, and I, I just, everyone here, loves airplanes, loves aviation, and loves Alaska. So have fun, enjoy it. I know I'm going to. And here goes Melissa Burns, mother of two. So I'll show you the airplane because of course this is not the typical plane that you see up here in Alaska. You see big bush wheels. We're here, we've got the Edge 540. They build this Zivco Aeronautics in Guthrie, Oklahoma. So it's a US built aircraft and you can just see how closely the tolerances are. This high performance plane was way ahead of its time. I had this built in 2005 and it is one of the most high performance aerobatic planes on the planet. I've flown with it in the world championships. I've uh, placed second and third in the world with this airplane. So it is just, uh, I mean, it is, it is basically a little rocket ship. Yeah, so I, I take this plane all over the world. We ship it if it's overseas, but I fly it all through North and Central America and the Caribbean. I've shipped it to Australia. I've shipped it to Europe. Uh, you can see it's a very clean airplane. It's really just, uh, just the basics. We want it to be lightweight. We have a reference point out here. I line these points up with the horizon mostly for competition aerobatics to get that real precision 45 and vertical. This little string here, this one's a fun one. So whenever I'm doing a torque roller or a tail slide and I start to slide backwards, that string's gonna reverse direction so I know whenever we're sliding back towards the earth. I only keep it on the left because when I'm flying, I'm always looking left. I actually, I used to have one on the right. I always look left so I thought, ah, we'll take off a little extra drag. Uh, awesome Hartzell claw propeller on the front. So that thing, when I get to slow speeds, it really allows me to still literally claw my way over the top of these maneuvers. And I'll show you inside as well. Always flying with the parachute, always flying with the helmet, safety first. And it's fun because I like, you know, this is a tough airplane. I can let the kids in, check it out, climb around on the wings, let them pull on the stick. But you can really, you can really see the throw of that stick and those controls. All right, so these airplanes are really basic, but I'm having to fly this VFR cross country all over the world. So I have an amazing avionics sponsor, Sarasota Avionics. They've set me up, I've got an autopilot. It really helps me out with the fatigue of flying cross country. So it allows me to safely get from show to show. I've got a great engine monitor, you know, safety first is really key and it allows me to get from place to place because once I get here, I'm only flying for about 10 minutes at a time, flying the air show, doing the aerobatics, the ribbon cuts, and most of my flying is actually getting from place to place. Once I get to the field, I turn all those fancy avionics off, I set that altimeter down to zero. The only thing I care about is how high I am above the ground and now we're ready for an air show. And because all of your aerobatics is inside the box, you just care about AGL, right? Yes, so whenever we're performing, you know when you fly cross country, of course you're setting your altimeter setting, you need to know what you are MSL, but when you're flying aerobatics in a box, we're in a zone where all we wanna know is our altitude above the ground. So we change things up, we set zero, and that gives me a very simple reference point to know how high I am before I enter into my maneuvers.
one of the things that we do in aerobatics is visualization. Visualization is a part of so many sports, and in competition aerobatics, we don't actually get to practice the sequences at the contest, so we have to walk through and visualize. For an air show, it's also important. I can be, I can stand here, I can feel the wind, I can look at the terrain, look at the clouds, and visualize what I'll be doing for my performance. And then as I walk through, I think about all the things I'm going to be doing, I think about the reference points where I'll be looking, and it helps me to prepare to give a safe and hopefully a very entertaining performance. I'll give you an example. Let's say I'm just pulling up for a stall turn. I'm picturing, I'm walking in line, I'm pulling vertical, checking left, visualizing where I'm stopping. I'm in line with the runway so that the audience has a nice view. I visualize kicking that stall turn around, doing a couple of nice snap rolls, finishing in the direction I want to go, and pulling out. So an example of just walking through a figure, put them all together and you have a sequence. Yes, yeah, so we had a great show. It was really fun. I got to play around with the clouds and the terrain a little bit. My team was awesome. We had the full ribbon cut sequence and we yet uh, to have another amazing air show here in Valdez. So my next show is going to be down in Twin Falls, Idaho. Uh, so I'll be heading back down to the lower 48 and you can see the full, uh, the full schedule at www.sportsgal.com. And the reason why I'm making these YouTube videos is uh, to show you what aviation is like, not just the airlines or maybe a specific kind of flying. And hopefully it also motivates you to be uh, curious enough uh, to learn more and to follow your dreams and make it a reality. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you do, please like and follow as they say in YouTube land. <laughs>